place is too dreadful to me. I'm leaving. Where are we going? I already told you where we were going last time. Guess what? Wait, much right park. Sorry, not what I meant. Hill Castle. Oh, god damn it! We better rest up before we gotta go deal with all this, you know? Of course. You can never make it anything fun. Oh, come on, dude. You wanna prep yourself and show you're strong enough to handle everything, right? <sighs> Fine, whatever you say, dude. Is that Mario? What was that? I don't know. I thought I heard a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to worry about that right now. Anyway, it's back to the battle ring because I realize there are bosses I need to fight. Let's go deal with that now. Because I'd rather do it now than have a marathon later, you know? The way I like to usually do it. Speaking of which, let's come up to the iron battle. The giant battles, excuse me. Earthquake X, we got 10 turns. Note you have 6 for Z Keeper X. That is going to suck. Since this was back from long ago, I want to take care of this one first. So let's do it. Frickin' Earthquake X. This one's probably going to suck a bit, but I'm ready for it. So anyway, welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow, let's play Mario Luigi Dream Team. This is your host, the MJ406. And, well, we are at it again. Because, uh, well, I want to make sure that I am ready to kick some serious ass. We are getting near the end game now. So, you know, may as well try to knock out some other fluff in this game so we can calmly know that I collected as much as I could before we came to finish off the enemy. And that way, when I do get to Bowser, I give him the good old one-two. Mmm, baby. Oh, crap, he's still alive. What, you thought he'd be dead just with that? I was hoping... Dude, you fought this guy a little bit ago. I know, but still. Come on, dude. Let's see if I can actually dodge these attacks this time. That's a good thing about these rematches, trying to learn how to dodge attacks I kind of screwed up before. Okay, this one only needs a standard jump, I remember. It's the, it's the big block armor he has later on that needs the full twister jump. See? There we go. We're good now. Oh, he's doing this? Okay, that's easy. Why do you pick the easy one? I mean, fine. I mean, I'll take the easy one, sure. Why not? Keep it coming, bitch! I'm ready for you all day! Were you about to say every day? How many times do you expect to fight this thing? More than I want to. Fair point. I can definitely see that being an issue for you. Oh, I gotta remember there's a turn limit. That's what makes these giant, the dreamy fights, really rough. Because of the turn limit, you have to be on your game. If you screw up, well, you're in trouble. Okay, I remember how this works now. Just gotta jump on it. There we go. Okay. Tilt. Smash him! There we go. Just bat, just top of the ball and bash him while he's trying to swing away. And then, you got the whole head to yourself. How you like that, bitch? Dude, Mar Luigi, you're going to give him a concussion with that. Screw him, he's a dick. Look at you. Learning to beat up your foes mercilessly. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right, Luigi, you're fine. Just freaking prepare yourself. You keep running a little further back than you should be. I know, I'm just scared. You're doing perfectly so far. For the work. I want Mario to save you after this, Luigi, so you better make sure you're on your game. This is a good thing about these rematches, I've usually been on point with them. So, you know. As long as I'm not playing stupidly, I should be fine. As long as Mario and Luigi are up to the task, we got this. All right, I'm rotating better than I have been before. I'm getting back my groove. Taking a break to record this other project was definitely a good move. I'm a tired, but I guess he's still exhausted from everything. It's a goddamn Mario Party, dude. Yeah, probably. Sorry I haven't subjected you to that. I've been fine, because you've been the leader. 
Bad damage, damage, bad, bad stasis must defeat. Okay, so remember this. I think you want to knock out the all blocks because I think those will end up hitting you. I'm pretty sure anyway. So, you just have to know what, what to guard against. I think if you leave the all blocks though, they will hit Luigi no matter what. I think. Ow. I'd rather keep Mario safe. I actually took damage now. That move's literally just there to waste your time. You can't even do anything to make it so you can hit him back. You just have to make sure that you don't die from that. Alright, bitch. What else you got for me? Oh, the hammer thing. Right. Remember, it's swing from the top, swing up. If it's swing from the side, duck. I remember. Yes, I'll remember you this time. Ow! Damn it, I came a little faster than I thought it would. That's how it, as it flashes. That's how I can block it. Nope. Ow! Alright, here comes the big hit. Back off, bitch! Ow! How the hell? There you go. As long as you block your last hit, you won't get blasted back. And that's the last thing we need. I'm a fan of good old knockback. As am I. Let's knock it back into the water. Agreed. Eat shit. No. Hey, this battle's easy now. I remembered. I did think it could be a damage though. I gotta be careful. I gotta warm up for what I deal with Zekeeper again. Cause I remember his rematch is definitely really hard. Like, I will keep saying that Zekeeper's rematch is terrible. So. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you, that will suck. Just be warned. The original way of the Z Keeper wasn't bad, but first of all, I think there was one attack he didn't use on me. And secondly, the gyroscope ones do get worse. I think there's another gyroscope attack he has. So that's what I'm not looking forward to soon. Oh man! World again. It is time. The bow is weak and right for defeat. Use that move to finish it. You know, that move. You want me to do the twister jump? Just do the finishing move. Oh, right. Let's do this. That's right. For the princesses. Why do you want to do it for the princesses? They're royalty. They got enough money. Do it anyway. It's like up to them. You know, it's a good idea. Oh, well, it works for me, I guess. It doesn't even matter if I get excellent or not. I just had to kill them. And well... Just like that, Battle, Premium Luigi Battle 3, rematch is complete! Damn straight. I've only had one not excellent hit so far, and unfortunately it's when it was when it really mattered. At least to me it did, damn it. Alright then, good job Luigi, we're done here. Now we can take a break from all that. Because we beat another giant boss rematch! Good news! You get money! What else would you get? You want to get over 100,000 coins. You don't really need to worry about getting more money, so don't you worry about that. Now let's take a break from that and go to Pelodium. Oh, 40 or... Oh, God! Do it anyway. Wait, what? We're gonna die. You asshole! Pelodium X! I have enough strength. I should be fine. For the gold wear, you have enough defense, Mario. Game of potential. Chance of my victory, you are 20%. He said the same thing last time. I think he's more confident this time, dude. I won't underestimate him. He gave you a lot of trouble in the past. I didn't want to put it past him. Alright, then. And remember, you can't accomplish the, uh... You cannot accomplish the expert challenges here, so, you know. Don't expect to be able to, you know speed that up. We already discussed that before, but you know, the same thing with all the other challenges. Just rely on your brother's attacks, and you can easily win the day as long as you're competent in yourself. Competent in myself? Yes, competent in yourself. Look at that damage, baby. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Okay, I was gonna say, is he doing the fucking plane already? 
I gotta remember, okay, turn his body around. If you ever see the front of the body, you know who he's attacking. If you see the back of his body, you know who he's not attacking. Yeah, let's go with that. Ow! Damn it, that was hard to time. Damn, he keeps that up for a while, huh? I mean, eventually he'll stop. It's just, damn, he is committed to that one. Hmm. You know, your Slake Cypher's the only thing that's actually of real use in this fight. I could have also had you heal Mario, but you know what? We'll just go with this for now. Now, aim for him this time. Damn it! Actually, I think he did hit the body. Oh, thank God. Hmm. You know what? I kind of want him to keep going for now. So I'll just heal Mario. Why do you want him to keep fighting us hard? I'm curious to see what he does. You already know what he does. Oh, okay, that's weird. Oh, they shoot past you still have to jump over them. God damn it, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Now it's playing time. Okay, I remember seeing the missiles. The angry ones come fast, and the normal looking ones come slowly. Ow! If I use that knowledge, I can figure out when to jump. I have analyzed some of these fights I've fought in the past, so... Ow! I know what to expect. Take that! Take that! Hey, you ruined my flight path, dude! That was me! No, you have a shitload of turns for this fight, by the way. I don't think I'll point that out. You have a lot of turns for this. So, you know, fight hard and fight well. Gotcha! Boom, baby! Oh, the star point's a critical spot. That's what that is. Okay. All right, let's weaken him down. I could use a Z-Egg, but I want to save up on that for the time being, at least. Besides, if the wings blow up, this will do more focused damage. And they didn't blow up. Damn it! Okay. Oh, doing Mario. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, dude, is it hammer time? Luigi, can you just revive him? Sorry. Ow. That was a lot, dude. I killed him. Yeah, don't forget those little guys can still heal him. If his wings aren't damaged, they may heal his head. So, you know, be wary of that. Max nuts. Let's use one. They do need the health. I need healing. And thankfully, he may waste a turn doing that, which is helpful to me, at least. All right, then. After this, I'll blow up his wings. Since we're already leveled for this, this is going to be a little tough. It! Oh, I hit two spots. Nice. Close call. And there we go. Now I can really knock out your wings. They, I figured they were close to being done. Even still. Just knock out the wing! Damn. What? How strong is that fucking wing? Buddy, slow. You call me slow, bitch? How dare you assume such a thing? See? We're not that slow. Faster than you, anyway. All right, tag it, Mario again. Okay. Three. Two. One. Damn it! I released too early on the counter. God damn it, dude. You're making me look bad. Yeah, you're right, Mario. I'm sorry. Here, eat a super mushroom. That's it? Sorry, dude. They don't give me good items for this. Man, this sucks. A lot more trouble than I was expecting you to be. I thought I got that wing so we can do more work on you. There we go. We're one hit away from blowing up that goddamn wing. Ugh! Eat shit. No. Now depress mode. Format queasy. Why do they have a bipolar guardian robot? Q bang mode. Yes, beg for your life, bitch. I'm begging for healing, actually. I'm learning the timing for you. I'm getting a little better at it. Now let's really get some work done on him. Hmm. I wonder how close he is to entering his uh, desperation mode. Ah! Okay, I did hit him. Just not the critical point. Thank God. Boot! Self-destruct! This is what I was talking about! What? Why 
40 seconds? Yeah. Yeah. Self-destruct mode. Yep. This is what you have to fear. I feel like I did the wrong move here. So, yeah. If he's close to death, he will enter self-destruct mode. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Maybe you missed that. Sorry. We don't have time for this. So, yeah. You have a timer now. You gotta work with. Oh, man. And now I blew this attack. Oh, to do. Oh, God. Did I lose this fight? I might have lost this fight. And, well. Weary. You have to kill him at times so it doesn't blow up. If you don't beat him up fast enough, you will get blown to smithereens. And I'm guessing, instantly die. If I had to guess. But, yep, that's the mode I feared. Once he enters self-destruct mode, that's where you want to unleash whatever strong attacks you have to knock him out. Thankfully, last time we did that, my brother's attack did so much to skip that phase that I didn't have to worry about it. It's only once he, once he enters a certain threshold, though, so... Just attack hard and fast. And even though I screwed up that brother's move, it still worked out, thankfully. Speaking of the Z-Keeper helping out... Time to go back to when he wasn't helpful. Man, look at him now! He looks very menacing in this one. My god. So here we go! Probably my absolute least favorite of all the boss gauntlet challenges. Z-Keeper X. This is the worst of the battle ring stuff. Draw. You gotta remember how to dodge him. You can also jump on him. That helps. And duck him when he does that. Just make sure whatever you do, you don't actually get hit by him. Man, I don't think I ever remember actually jumping on him. I usually just dodge him. I didn't even know you could jump on him during that. That's pretty rad. I have been grabbing you, fucking idiot. Yes, I know. Damn. Handling it perfectly so far. Good, good shit. Good shit indeed. Now just keep you down on level with me. Oh, crap. Just make sure you grab his feet. If you don't grab him after long enough, he will break free. So don't give him the chance. And, well, just remember, you have your turns attacking. Do not blow your opportunity here. You only have six turns. Like, this is definitely the hardest part. If you blow any of your attacks, well, then, you're in for a much longer haul this fight. <laughs> just make sure your tandem attacks are on point and you don't mess up anything else beyond that. Just make sure your jumps are good and your dodges are good. Because the harder thing to deal with is surviving him. But just when you knock him down, make sure you don't blow it. So it's really the turns are easy to deal with, but it's more actually surviving the hard part. It's easy though, I've underestimated you. But neither have I unveiled my true strength. Let's do the time warp again. Oh my god. Getting all weird and shit. I hate it when this happens. I owe you no mercy. I am sorry. It must be so. So that would be trying to kill us. Like, what a dick. It's time to fly. Let's go. Maybe this asshole just runs away, like most of the fight. And again, he's an asshole. So, you know, just make sure you're ready for it, whatever it may be. So, come on. Show me whatever you is you've got. Just remember to dodge the balls wherever they appear. You have a smaller time frame than the rematch, of course. So, you know. Just make sure you don't get caught getting stupid. But it works about the same way. As long as you're competent with this phase in particular, you should actually be alright in this fight, I would think. Just make sure you move around so you can see all the attacks coming at you. Last thing you need is to block your own view of what the Z-Keeper is trying to do to you. Eat that! Oh, also, I never mentioned something. It's weird. This part of the game, the uh, Dreaming Luigi battles, weren't actually developed by uh, Alpha Dream themselves. 
You know the uh, developers for uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn and the uh, recent uh, cutesy-looking Yoshi games? Good Feel Incorporated? Yeah, they're the ones who actually did these uh, giant Dream Luigi battles for them. That's why they probably have a different feel from everything else. A whole different developer worked on this part of the game, so, you know, it's actually kind of neat to think about in hindsight. What the fuck? Yeah, you gotta nail them in clusters. Take too long. And well... Well, you get hit. Badly. Ow! That hurts a lot. Alright, I'm ready. Yeah, that was, I guess that was the attack. I thought there was a gyros another gyroscope one. Maybe not. Still. By the way, that attack does still suck. But yeah, you know Kirby's Epic Yarn, or the uh, recent Yoshi games, or even Wario Land Shake It, which I was a big fan of, by the way. You know who Good Feel Inc. You know who Good Feel is. And yep, they're the ones who did the Giant Dreaming Luigi battle, so there you go. Pretty neat to think about. Impressive. Yes, very. And that, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, we're doing this again. God damn it. Twice you forced me to tear a dimensional rift. Oh, yeah, this is dialogue I didn't see last time. Okay, then. Let us battle. I think he does have more difficult attacks to deal with. As long as I'm careful, though, I should be okay. Because don't all the turns you take up are actually, you know, your turns. So if you keep playing on the defensive against the Z-Keeper, you'll be able to kill him rather quickly if you're smart. Just make sure you do at least decent work on him, if you can help it. If I got to pass through those trees, I would have been able to hit him earlier, but you know what? This might be for the best that it works out this way. I don't know for sure, though. Getting to throw all those free stumps at him would have been pretty cool, though. Getting to do that again would have been nice. How you like that, huh? How's where you got from me, Mr. Z-Keeper? Yeah, it's great and all. Excuse me, I'm gonna go down here, then I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> Our gyroscope isn't really betraying me in this, which is nice. In fact, the thing is, the gyroscope for this feels like it's a little delayed. Like, it, it's definitely not very precise for this part of the battle. Ugh. Well, I'm really here the gyroscope implementation of this game, for the most part. Draw. Here we go again. Huh? That's what I usually end up feeling when I see that. Whoa! Caught me off guard there. Huh? Yikes! Oh crap. Ow! God damn it, this hurts! See, he hits like a truck. Yeah, it's not really. Oh man, I'm so weak. Did I not warn you? You are no match for me. Oh god, help! I'm going to die! If I don't get all these balls, I'm dead. Oh, it's the big ball. Oh, thank God. That's much easier to deal with. Come on. Damn it! Oh, I thought I would have hit it in time. Yeah, this fight is bad. It's not the gyroscope stuff. It's just him in general is rough to deal with. Okay, this could help. If I could grab him one more time, I could end this, but... Man, am I getting my ass whooped. Oh, man. Oh, they do give you healing. Oh. So they do allow you to get healing in this fight. That's good to know. Only slightly. It's not enough to really mean anything, but still. I have to be able to grab him! Can I get him? You've almost got it. Just hang in there. All right, that's right. All right. If I get hit one more time, though, I'm dead. You see, this fight is rough. You really ought to be able to make sure you... Oh, God. He just does have to throw you off. Throw off your timing. That's all he does there. Oh, I tried to duck. Oh, God. That really hurt. Ow. I'm tired. Yep. 
This one's hard. Screw you. God damn it. Hang on, give me another try at that. Yeah, I know this episode's long already, but... Well, there you go. That's what happens when you lose one of these fights. Pretty dreadful. Okay, so what's the gyroscope stuff that was hard? It's just surviving Z-Keeper X in general. He is definitely the hardest of the dreamy battles. Without a doubt. Strong. He just has so many crazy attacks. I gotta do that timing better for those attacks. I remember the, the dodge down does last longer than I think it does. I gotta anticipate that jump as soon as he dives down, too. Like, ugh. Like, this is the one fight, if you do not master, you will struggle. If it wasn't obvious already. But if you can master it, you can end it very quickly. This is why I was dreading this fight. I knew there was some reason I dreaded it. It was the rematch I was dreading. I mean, there's a Z-Keeper after all. Hey, I did grab that. That's a bullshit. I hope you don't have to, like, actually tap the leg in particular. And <laughs> I've just been getting lucky prior. No, I think you just have to tap and he'll grab it eventually if it's in range. Ugh. All right. This time I gotta make sure I'm on the, on the ball. Because if I'm not, well, then things are going to suck. Out of the way. Eat crap! Yeah! You're not good! Stupid birds. I hate these guardian birds and their goddamn mystical feathers and their crazy attacks and everything else that comes with them. Goddamn Z keepers. Really a menace. So, yeah. I'll say it straight up. As much as there was mad skill fun and broke my damn challenges I was not looking forward to, this honestly might have been the thing I looked the least forward to this entire game. Like, I thought it was the gyroscope things that gave me trouble, but no, it's just his attacks in general are just savage. And like, I'm not gonna complain about it. He's hard. I will give him that. The Z-Keeper is difficult. I will not take that away from them. They gave one heck of a boss fight here. Like, it's not my favorite of the Dr Dreamy Luigi battles. That's the last one. But it's still the hardest. The last one, in all honesty, isn't that hard. You just gotta know what to do when for the last one. But We'll get there when we get there. So come on. Bring on, you damn Z-Keeper. Play Dodger Ball so I can roll into you some more. That's all I wanted from the very beginning. Roll all over you. If you'll allow me to do that, I'll be greatly pleased. Thank you for this. He has pretty easy tells. But even still, it's annoying how much work you gotta do to get to this guy. Like, oh, man. You're better off just staying where he is, and as soon as you see him jump up a little bit, just move away from where you were. And then... There you go. You pretty much have a pin. I like to throw the corner he's originally in, so that way he's just really easy to nail down. At least for me, he's easy to nail down. Come on. One more for the bro now. Eh? There we go. Good Z keeper. Hey. Hey, come on. That's what I'm talking about not being inaccurate. He just, I guess you bend it too much. It kind of has to recalibrate. And we don't wet it. Well, it gets unresponsive. See, gyroscope is fun, isn't it? Ugh, first problem I actually had with it, though. All right. Now, now the clusters. I have to take some of these attacks now. Damn it! Because ow, that's so hard to deal with. They never clustered away. You can get them all with one stump, really. You gotta be on your game for that attack. Like, I really feel like an attack just to screw you over. It's not fair. I hate it. That is the one attack I feel is kind of messed up. It's really hard to actually time everything right so you can actually knock out all those freaking energy spheres he has. So for that, I will bomb him with his own eggs. You know, I have to wonder if he can give birth to a baby Z-Keeper. 
Or he's just like a mystical being that's one of a kind and can't do something like that. Probably should think about it. Oh man, I have to do this again? God damn it, this battle is gonna be really long. I probably should have just saved this for next time, but you know what? I think I'm happy trying to get it out of the way. So let's do it. I should keep my stylus in my hand instead of putting it away. We're gonna need it later. Oh, Ramon thought I was about to do a pattern I've never seen before. I was gonna be like, wait, what? Like, don't do this to me, dude. Don't do this to me. Nope. Yeah, you can just have fun over there, Z Keeper. It's me. I like to bludgeon mercilessly. With my spirally body. Yeah. The patterns are the same every time, though, dude. It'd be nice if you had, like, a different pattern to throw at me, but you don't. You just do the same thing every goddamn time. Leave yourself feeling like boring. Mmm, baby. There we go. A lot of good easy hits there. I can't believe this bird can travel through dimensions. It's like, damn, dude. This bird is powerful. Is it only po possible in the dream world, or can you do it in reality as well? Can I get taken to a dimension where Bowser's gone for good? He's actually killed? Yeah, if only. I don't think that's how dimensional travel works. All right, here we go with this again. All right. And I didn't jump in time. Got him! There we go. If I actually land on him, that'll help a lot. Whoa! Oof. Okay. He's doing high. I recognize that this time. All right, so I dodged everything, and I hit him once. Yes! Finally, you're done, son! You're done! At least I hope you are. If he's not dead after this, I'm gonna very much regret everything I just said. Man, this bird's got a lot of power. But not enough! Now I'm gonna reach another case, bitch! Hmm. Would it be easier to kill this thing if we had a gun? You wanna get guns involved in this? We don't have the super scope with us. Oh! Damn it! Don't talk to Sakurai about that. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, let's not worry about it. For now, let's just try to kick his ass. We got jumping power. That's enough, baby. That's all we need for the end of this bird. All right, then. One more attack, and we have this in the bag. Yes! So, yeah. The whole, the whole, like, gauntlet of assault that Z-Keeper does is why this fight is so hard. Because he's just relentless. Well, the other fights, you probably just take turns. But Z-Keeper, he just attacks relentlessly until you're able to knock him down to actually do real damage. So basically, if you keep screwing up, you will definitely die first. And the rematches, they do a lot more damage. For the birds! For the what? Kill the birds! Kill them all! Yeah, I agree with Mario. Kill the birds. They suck. Especially this one. He's an asshole. What if I miss him entirely? Will he still live? Alright, I'm thinking about it, Mario. Just get him, please! Ha ha! Ah, felt like a migraine. Damn it. Oh, no! Oh, man. That fight! It's rough. But hey, good news is, it's over. I'm sorry for taking so much time, but I really wanted to get that done. There we go! Zeekeeper X is done! And like that, we got our coin reward. For 2100. Oh, look at that beautiful trophy. I like it. Just know there's two more in each column. Just... There's two more of each. Just know it's not as bad as you think. It actually might be as bad as you think it is now I think about it. Don't think about it then! Sorry. Oh, man. Well, good news is, we're caught up. Bad news is, it took an entire episode. It would have anyway, but I died in the middle of it, so it took even longer. So, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep ignoring Toadsworth the whole time. I just imagine he's just been freaking out standing there for hours. 
and be like, Where are the princess? Somebody out of the princess! I need to get the princess! Bring the danger! I need to get her! Dude, somebody's gotta get this guy to restrain him! Somebody gotta restrain him! He's on his goddamn mind! He's just foaming in the mouth like, I need the princess! I need the princess! Like, this is why we don't deal with him! He gets way too crazy when it's about saving that bitch! For real, why do we work for him? Oh wow, exactly 40 hours! Totally intentional! Sure it was! Well, either way! Alright, 40 hours in, I guess it's a pretty good time to go in then. So, now we count call up with the uh, battle ring. Sorry about that. We are finally going to go into Neo Bowser Castle. Enter Neo Bowser Castle and find a Tazma and Bowser. We are finally on our last steps to stopping their evil plans once and for all. And hopefully it's easier than that Zookeeper fight was. Oh, come on. You think anything's going to be harder than a god bird? I mean, Bowser's had the equivalent powers of a god before, and now he's got like a dark god with him. Don't you forget that I have powers like God? No, you don't, Mario. Shut up. You're you're just lucky. It's magic, isn't it? Shit, I did say that, didn't I?